What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I am excited to present to you a new advanced course that's up on my Patreon. So the new advanced course is all about advanced rendering. So last week we did kind of the base uh, rendering or base advanced rendering where I went all of the all of the settings and everything you need to know to set up your renderings in Revit but in th and this is what we got this is the kind of the, the final image that we've created but now we're going to be taking this rendering that's as far as rendering goes it's all right but as far as the model goes it can use a lot more work to appear more realistic so today we're kind of jazzing it up making it look interesting and in the end, this is what we're going to get. So it's a far more realistic feel. It actually looks like somebody lives here and uh, it, it looks a lot nicer. And also we're going to be doing this night rendering as well. Now the whole course will start off by showing you the two approaches to making your scenes more, uh, more photo realistic. And that's uh, adding some realism through adding uh, some imperfections so I'm going to be playing around with the terrain making it imperfect so uh, the terrain is going to look a lot more natural than it does uh, in this image over here where it's just like a flat ground and here if we look in this it kind of it, it gets some uh, kind of bit of a disposition and it actually looks a lot more realistic also we're going to be adding a lot more complexity to the model so uh, adding just just adding all of those families and all of those additional components that are going to make it look more interesting like these rocks over here the fans all of these lights, the curb, the car, all of the lights on the house, uh, just playing around with the trees a bit, the decal over here. So all of those we're going to be adding. So additional elements to make it all uh, look more realistic. Uh, adding this uh, fascia over here. So as you can see over here, it's just ugly and gray. Then here we added fascia so it looks a lot more uh, realistic and it doesn't confuse the viewer and it doesn't kind of... Uh, take away from the scene. Also, once we've covered all of that, I'm going to go into some advanced material settings. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a material out of scratch, this uh, cool brick material that is actually a lot nicer with uh, than all of the materials that come with Revit. And also not just how to set up materials, but also how to apply them. And not just the regular uh, application of materials to geometry, I'm also going to be showing you how to apply materials to faces so you can change the individual faces. So this here wood, even though this isn't uh, a wood material, has the wood appearance. And this over here, this beam that's kind of holding up the garage door, that's not actually a beam. That's just a tool that we have over here. Uh, it's a split face tool that I used in conjunction with the paint tool to get the appearance of a beam above this, uh, above this garage door. It's a very quick process. You can do this in just a half a minute, uh, but it gives a good effect to the whole model. Also, I'm going to be covering decals, how to add decals like this. So something like graffiti that you can add to walls that's going to make the whole thing look just a bit more like somebody lives there and just a bit more natural. And after I've covered that, I go into night rendering. So of course, we've got these exterior lights, but to show you how to set up the interior lights. And not only how do you place lights inside, but also how do you group lights. So when you're rendering, you don't want to turn all lights on. You just want to turn on the lights that are going to have effect on that scene. In that case, it was only lights in this room over here and in this room over here and all of the exterior lights. So what I did, I created light groups for uh, just these two rooms that actually have some effect and of course another group for the rest of the lights inside of this house if I go over here all of these other rooms have lights as well but I turned those off just by grouping them all up in one light group and then in rendering settings I've shown you how to kind of use the uh, how to use the uh, the option of turning off the lights that are not going to be necessary in that particular view and also later on I show you how to kind of play around with the light settings so you get the perfect uh, the perfect night rendering in the end. Okay so that's what this course covers if you want to see the whole course it's over one hour long check out uh, my Patreon first link in the description and uh, not only uh, will you get access to this uh, to, to this course 
but if you go with the kind of the advanced course Balkan Architect tier on Patreon for $15 a month, you'll get access to all of my courses. I've got six advanced courses that are over one hour long so far, and I'm creating new ones each week. So if you want to check that out, first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's video, and I'm going to be coming back with another regular tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.